What is up, pal fam? Welcome to day 37 of Countdown to Feed 100. My name is Paul Ivan Alvarados, aka Paul Pao. And I'm just like being st setting up right now for the tournament. Anyway, finally, we're in the decade 60s between Boris Spassky and David Bronstein in the year 1960, and we're just having a perfect score of 64. Alright. In this game, between Boris Spassky and David Bronstein, it's worth 23 moves and a few variations. And so they'll say that it's gonna be short and absolutely sweet. <laughs> what? Why, I don't know why it doesn't connect on the short and a sweet, but yeah. I wish I'm the international master like Roderick Nava. He's always like, good! Wait, good day! <laughs> I'm not gonna imitate him. Mad respect to him. Anyway, let's begin. Boris Baske starts with e4, and then e5 for Bronstein, and Boris goes for the King's Gambit, f4. Then David accepts the King's Gambit. Yeah, let's just take a look. There's something I've wondered about this. Knight f3, d5, and then e takes d5. So it's tied up, I guess. And then bishop d6. It isn't instead of going this early. It was bishop d6, knight c3, knight e7, d4, castles, knight d bishop d3, knight d7, castles, h6, knight e4, knight takes d5. So I think we can say that this is a dead pawn. I've been thinking. So he left this one like he wants to leave this one hanging for this piece. And then knight takes d5, c4, knight e3, bishop takes f takes, c5, bishop e7, bishop c2, rook e8, queen d3, e2. 14 moves, there was readying for promotion. However, it was a mistake. Knight f8 can fix this and then... Rook a e1. It's already a dead pawn after all. b6. Queen takes e3. Knight g6. b4. Bishop e6. Bishop a4 and rook f8. Making the position equal. However, there was a threat on bishop a2. Bishop takes a2 so I can see that he can go here, here or here. Going back with e2. I think he ignores the rating for promotion and goes knight to d6. The problem is there was ready for promotion there, but before that, let's find out if he takes it. And then knight f8, rook a d1, bishop g4, bishop b3, knight e6, h3. I guess you can say that this position is in a slight advantage for white but yeah I think you can go for rook f8 and nothing else like knight g3 back to knight d6 there was a threat for black let's just say if he takes it and check checking mate but however David Bronstein made a mistake with knight f8 I know it's just like if you take it it's you're gonna lose the queen but I'm thinking about if he promotes to queen rook takes f1 takes queen h7 king f8 c takes and c takes the position will be equal and what should I say probably bishop king queen rook um there takes takes no he cannot take good thing is maybe right here back to knight f8 Boris sacrifice and again the knight demanding to give that knight because the threat is that knight takes d8 and for black is the promotion 
Yeah. <laughs> Good thing chest base has that. <laughs> but let's take a look. If he takes it, it's gonna be check. Let's see if we can go here. Check. King. Check. Oh. Takes. Check. Takes. Mate. Okay. Interesting. So knight f7. However, Boris David Bronstein. Now David Bronstein takes the rook and now he is up by a queen I mean he has now double queen but the better one is queen d5 knight h6 g takes h6 bishop b3 no he cannot he takes f1 to rook yes I'm not joking around you thought you think we're gonna auto promote it to queen that's why you when you have this like you see this you see this promotion you see right here oh never mind <laughs> there is no 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 I cannot leak but I can show you let's see this oh wow <laughs> anyway um it pops out the promotions thing so it's rook Let's go back with rook takes f1 and then bishop e6. And white's position will have a slight advantage here. But why are we saying better and then you're just t t telling that white's position is gonna be better? <laughs> okay, with this e takes f1, there's rook takes f1, white's position is getting better. But David Bronstein has made a mistake with bishop f5. And then if it's queen d5 and there's sacrifice takes bishop b3 no 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 pin and then bishop e6 lose the queen and 95 so white's position is better eventually going to win say bishop here and something else that I don't know so this one bishop f5 I think it's a blunder and then it's queen 6 f5 queen d7 queen f4 bishop f6 Knight three e five queen e seven. It's either queen e seven or what if he takes it and then knight takes rook takes d takes rook e eight b four c six queen e four a five white's white's getting winning here. Probably he has plans to do here and then king. Okay, back to queen e seven. Let's find out. Bishop b3, bishop, knight, king h7, queen e4, resigned. David resigned because it's absolutely winning after g6. Sacrifice, queen g7, rook f7, queen, bishop, rook g8, knight takes g6, and rook g7, it's over. Yeah, it's over for now. It's definitely over. Emerge Boris Pasky emerge victorious at this game. Alright. That should be it. Thank you so much for watching PowFam. Be sure to subscribe and become a patron member at patreon.com slash power And also subscribe to my vlog channel, Pow Vlogs. Follow me on Twitch, Paul Abradas, X Paul Abradas, TikTok Paul Abradas, Instagram Paul Power YT and Threads Paul Power YT as well as Facebook Paul Power YT and join the Discord community and get 20% off. When you buy any plan on Chess Moon, if it's Essential or Pro, you get 20% off. And I'll see you tomorrow for the countdown to feed 100 because that's that's our campaign here at Paul Pao, it, at here at Chess World by Paul Pao. The only time we're going to have 100 years, and this is gonna this like to be honest, I've never um was like very happy to get celebrate Fetus milestone about it but yeah I'll see you tomorrow